Tommy to lose it so late. Is, is that a hard result to take? Is, is it a fair assessment of the 90 minutes? Well, we didn't lose it, we drew, but I know what you mean. We, we, let, we let two points slip through our fingers. Um, yeah, disappointed with that. But I'm, I'm really pleased in, in terms of, you know, we've gone on the road and we've not brought anything home, which, I'm, which I was really disappointed about, because I genuinely think I could even say it. Certainly the Ebsfleet performance, but lots of the Oldham performance also were better than what we played today. Um, but I thought the first 30, 35 minutes, but we hit the ground running and we looked like a, a really fluent and fluid um, attacking force. Um, and I do think the chances we created early in the game, had they been taken, I think would have put the game to bed. But, and there's always a but, we didn't. And there's, once you're only one in, one little uh, ahead, there's always a chance that that can happen at the end. And you've got to give credit, uh, credit to York. They kept going, they kept going. But we've, we've just switched off for a split second and they've, they've managed to poke an equaliser. So it's disappointing, but it's also in, on, the, in, on the flip side of that, we've ended the, the run of defeat, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. Well, you know, you've, you've said from the off, haven't you, you really wanted to make the home, well, the EBB Stadium mm -hmm. a fortress, and, and that's now five unbeaten under you at, at home. So is, is that something that, you know, we can at least take positives from? Well, I'll always take positives from every game, whether we win, lose or draw, because it's important that, you know, we don't, as a staff and as a football club, don't get too high when you win and too low when you lose, because they are... <laughs> The monstrosities of football that's what it is football is i've been in the game 36 37 years man and boy since i left school and i'll tell you now i've been kicked the backside much more than i've been patted on the back and that's just football in general and i had a chat like that with the lads after the game but i believe in this group i believe that we have a definite identity now in the way we want to play the game um some lads will have had good days today some have had in different days and some have had good some lads have made the first longer stints on the pitch and shouldn't be judged too early you know at the end of the day sometimes you realize what you've got when it's not on the pitch and i think that was a good indication of that today isn't it and aaron jones popping up with a goal you know yeah. that's probably not the first name we put on the on the score sheet but you know it's good to see him find the back of the net wasn't it it was it was one of the one of the moments in the first 30 35 minutes eh, sorry in the first half where we got it all right so the, the the shape was good the pattern was excellent and the timing of the movement that we made into the box and they couldn't handle it and it was to be fair to AJ, it was a really good finish so yeah, i'm delighted for him i think he's been as consistent as anybody for us in the first four games um and of course i've worked with a lad before so i knew i know what type of character he is um and it's at times like this i'll need him and i'll need Stu and i'll need people who have the same mentality as i do and, and uh, the lads are the lads will be low, like you said. It'll feel like a defeat to, to some people, but it's not. It's a point on the board, um, and, and we move again and we're back here next Saturday, and hopefully we'll have a, have a few more in the in the building and we'll have another go at it. Uh, Stuart O'Keefe obviously was forced off quite yeah. early on. Can you give us an update? I know it's very soon. Yeah, it is. It's very soon. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually not even sure what it is yet. So uh, I know he's been carrying. There's a couple that have, and that's why they've been in the squad, out the squad, in the squad. Um, they may, it may mean he needs a rest. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll have to assess that further and give him 24 hours rest. And we did speak about Tommy Willard before the game, yeah. and, and is, he's missed out again. Is that, yeah. is that a bit more serious than we thought? Or? No, no, it's not. He's been running before anybody got here today, so we, we did that. Uh, Early, just, he came in early and had a, a look. I think Tom should be joining training, if not Monday, certainly Tuesday. Same with Theo. Um, Harry Gandor now is back in full training, so it comes into contention uh, as well. So, from that point of view, at least if, if Stuart is a negative, then three will be a positive in terms of numbers back around it. And just looking back at today's game, one last final time, you know, first half we created a lot of chances, second half we did show a fair bit of defensive solidity, albeit in the 93rd minute we conceded. So, you know, that's definitely positives we can build on. Isn't oh, it? yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm definitely a glass half full type of guy, but um, I hurt when, when that happens, and I want to see them hurt the way it hurts me. And if they don't, then they hear it from me, but only inside that, that dressing room. What goes on in there stays in there. Um, and we'll pick each other up, they'll pick me up, I'll pick them up on Monday and we'll go right at it again. Uh, looking forward to Wheelstone here next Saturday.